the six weeks of Greece is absolutely gorgeous. You definitely have to visit. It's one of its own. Don't just come for two days. You've got to come for four or five days a week. It's only 5,000 residents that live here all year round. It has only been popular for the last couple years. If Milos is not on your list to visit, you have to. We are at the most famous beach here, which is Sarah Canicchio. By far the best beach we've ever been to. It is unorganized, so you know you don't have your beach chairs and your food and everything else. The village of Klima is famous for the painted doors to the homes matching the color of the boats and they actually pulled the boats into the homes. It has all the old homes. Some locals actually still live in them. They also use them for Airbnbs. They also uh, rent them out as apartments. It's such a unique place. It's absolutely stunning. It's beautiful. They even have a little homemade shop where you can get crafts in one of those houses. It's absolutely stunning have to visit there. Also, Plaka is, uh, I believe it's the most popular village. These sunsets are the best I've seen in Greece. That includes Santorini. It actually looks a lot like Santorini without the villages on the sides of the mountain. If you only took pictures of the sunset in the water, probably a lot of people would think that it actually is Santorini. Lots of shops and restaurants, beautiful sunsets. I mean, it is amazing. Is Santorini a great place to visit one time? Okay, we've been there. But it's overcrowded, it's overpriced. Milos is beautiful. Food here in all of the islands, for two of us, between 50 and $75 a day on most days, that's what we've spent for all of our food. Lodging has been about $10,000 for six weeks. That's crazy, right? That's really good. We're not staying at low-end places and we aren't staying at the highest end. We're staying right in the middle. All the places that we've had have had sea views. Um, they're either close to town or they're in town. They've all been very nice. They've all been rated on Google as a 4.7 or higher. So they're all really nice places. And then the excursions that I've really liked to do. Here in Milos, again, we did a private excursion yesterday which takes us all around shows us everything that we want to see that we can go back to so on the villages and the beaches and the places to go all the beaches a lot of them are unorganized here in milos so you definitely want to check out a bunch of the beaches and the villages we go on a boat trip tomorrow because there are so many different places that you can't go to by car if you want to go to a bunch of other places you're going to have to get an atv or something off road because you can't get there by car but the beaches here are amazing the caves we went to one yesterday it's very scary <laughs> to walk down and to go inside and it even says on the outside not to enter dangerous and people were everywhere walking going down into the caves jumping off the caves the food in Milos is wonderful, the people of course, and it is an up and coming island, so it's only been popular the last couple of years. But when visiting Greece, you definitely, definitely have to come to Milos. So out of the six islands, my favorite is Naxos. I love Naxos, okay? Uh, it's beautiful. It has about 100 beaches, lots that are right next to each other, very easy to get around. The food is not just seafood that they're known for, but they're known for their meat. They also have the airport, which is like a mile. Uh, so a really convenient airport flying from Athens to Naxos. During season, it's like seven times a day. Um, the port is nice, the villages are nice. So Naxos, number one. Number two, Milos, just the beauty of Milos. By fast ferry, from Naxos to Milos is two and a half hours. And then from Milos to Athens is two and a half hours fast ferry as well. And then number three is Paros. Paros is beautiful, kind of like a small Mykonos. It is a beautiful island, seafood, uh, lots of fishermen's villages, definitely number three. And you can take a boat 15 minutes from Naxos to Paros not the ferry, just a boat, and you can stay there for the entire day for 30 euros per person. That's the other thing I love about Naxos and Paros, is they're more centered. They can get to many of the different islands in a short amount of time, 30, 45 minutes. Like Mykonos is 
30 or 45 minutes. Naxos, I believe it's an hour and a half. They're all close together in the synclines. Number four for me would be Eos. So Eos is also beautiful, like Milos, so it's different, it has its own charm. The only thing about Eos is that during the summer months, it attracts a lot of young kids, 18 years old. And so it's a party town for them. But the beauty of Eos, and going around, I mean, you really only need, if you're gonna visit Eos, maybe three days. Number five would be Tinos. Now Tinos is its own charm as well, and I love Tinos. Tinos and Eos probably for me are side by side. Tinos is smaller, there's not as much to do, but it is beautiful. And then number six is Syrups. So Syrups, I would not probably go back to. I did like it, it was okay, but it was definitely number six on my list of the six islands we visited in six weeks in the Cyclides of Greece.